Hello, Stuart McPhee here, back with Metastock, and uh, this time I thought I'd spend some time talking about the Expert Advisor. Now, the Expert Advisor within Metastock is a very powerful tool that allows us to display the results of our analysis in various ways on the chart, and I think it's one of those tools in Metastock that isn't utilised by a lot of people. So I'd just like to take a few moments now to explain the Expert Advisor and how you can use the Expert Advisor. A couple of things with the Expert Advisor, you can only have one expert attached to your chart at any one time, but very, very uh, powerfully, I think, is that an Expert Advisor can form part of your default template. So what I'm about to go and show you now in the next few minutes, you can have that apply to every single chart you look at because it may be part of your default template. Let's go and have a look at the uh, Expert Advisor. The Expert Advisor symbol in the main toolbar is the little gentleman there with the bowler hat on. If you give him a single click, we'll open up the Expert. And what you'll find is, if you've never even been here before, you'll find there's still a number of pre-packaged experts that Metastock uh, installs when it um, when it uh, installs onto your PC. Uh, so there's a lot of experts that are provided for you with your copy of Metastock, but ideally in a lot of cases I think you, um, whilst they serve as a good learning tool and you can go and see how some of the experts work, I think it's best to develop your own expert advisor to look for your criterion for your analysis and uh, your own methodology. What I'll do is I'll just quickly run through a very simple expert and just uh, show you the different components and how we can attach that to our chart. So we'll click on the right hand side here, New, and we have now the Expert Editor. This allows us to create our own new expert. Now there's six tabs across the top. The name is where we are now, where we just simply type in the name of our expert, and it's the other five tabs that are the different ways that the expert can display the results of its analysis on the chart, and we'll go through each of those in turn. So I'm just going to call uh, this particular expert, uh, notice I put a few zeros in there because it simply ensures that this appears at the top of the expert advisor list because they're in uh, alphabetical order, and I'll just put expert, and down here you can write some notes. These are the five um, different ways we can have our expert provide the results to us. Let's firstly go to trends. Notice the trends window is broken into two halves, top and bottom, bullish and bearish. In both of these text boxes, we're allowed to type in the formulas that will result in either a bullish um, indication or a bearish indication. So I'm just going to type in here something like that the closing price is a gro uh, above the 150 day simple moving average. That indicates bullish. I'm just going to copy that actually, just highlight, right mouse click, copy, come down here and paste it in, and I'm just going to do the opposite. So notice now the close is less than the 150 day simple moving average. Once I put in my simple formulas for my bullish and bearish, we'll come over here to the ribbon, and in here we can dictate what the colours will be should those conditions be met. Now I'll get rid of the pattern make that none, but I'll leave the colours as green and red and neutral when neither of those conditions are true, uh, which isn't going to happen very often, it um, will have a black indication, and in the label we'll just put uh, bullish and in here bearish, and OK. Now just to quickly show you that before we go into the other areas, I'll just show you that applied to this chart, I'll just click OK there, there's my expert at the top there, not quite all, all the way to the top, but it's fairly close. I'm now going to attach that to the chart that I already have open. Attach, notice a little arrow indented there, click on close, and now I have this ribbon appearing along the base of my chart, which is indicating either a bullish or a bearish trend. I can move that ribbon to anywhere in the chart, and that's the first component of the Expert Advisor. Now if I right mouse click on the background, I can access Expert Advisor properties and go back into the rest of it. I'll skip commentary for the moment and just go to highlights. Now highlights allow us to override the default colours for your bars. Notice I've got green and red in my bars. We can override these should certain conditions be met. Let's go new to create a new highlight and what I'll call this is gap down. What I want is if I see a gap down in the chart or Metastock sees it, I want to change the bar to white. The conditions there therefore would be 
gap down. Now I know that's a pre-built function. Um, I just have to find it somewhere. Click on G. It'll be in here somewhere. Gap down. There it is. So it's a pre-built function in Metastock. Paste the argument. OK. There it is. Click on OK. And I now have my first highlight. And again, if I OK that, it will readjust the chart. Now notice we've got a few here. Where the bars are now white, that means we've had a gap down. OK. And there's quite a few of them there. I'll go back in and perhaps create one for gap up and we'll make that uh, yellow. I know the syntax is the exact opposite. We'll call this gap up. And again, I'll OK that and see if we can see. Oh, there's not many in this chart. There's one there, one there, and a couple over here. So maybe yellow in my condition, in my situation, may not be the best. Let's go back to the properties. Symbols is identical setup. We're looking for a specific criteria as highlights. Symbols are similar, except instead of changing the colours of the individual bars, it allows us to place a symbol on the chart either above or below the price plot. So what I'll do is just, uh, I'll do another one for gap up. And the condition, of course, will be gap up. And the graphic, what we'll do is we'll put, um, notice all these different uh, symbols we can use. We'll put an up arrow perhaps. We'll make that a large up arrow and we'll make it green. We can type in here a label if we want that to accompany the symbol. I'm going to put the symbol below the price plot. Click OK and notice there, although it looks a bit silly on the chart, now notice that for every one of those gap ups I now have a green up arrow. Likewise I can do the gap down example. The condition will be the opposite. And of course the graphic this time will make, oh have I just edited that one there, have I? I have, let's go new, gap, down, graphic, make it uh, perhaps a down arrow, red, we'll put it above the plot, and I don't think I put in a formula, how's that? I didn't either, there we go, we need to put in a formula, otherwise Metastock won't know what we're talking about. Click OK, and sure enough every gap down on that chart we have the down arrow, quite uh, obvious there. Now before I go to the commentary, I'll just quickly finish with alerts. Alerts, again, very similar, looking for a specific criteria. However, in this particular case, what will happen is rather than the um, indication appearing directly on the chart, it will provide a little pop-up box. So again, I'll just create one here that I know will be triggered, and notice the price is around 450. I'll just put in here uh, price alert. Perhaps we'll put in that the closing price is greater than $1. Now the reason why I put that is simply so we get an indication here so I can show you what a pop-up box uh, looks like. In the alert, this is simply the text that will appear in that pop-up box, pop box and I'll just say here this price is greater than $1. Notice there's a few other things you can play audio and some videos as well. We'll just click OK there. There's my alert. Click OK. I just need to detach it from this chart and then reattach for that to appear and there's the pop-up box. So notice it's being triggered. This price is greater than $1 because that condition was met. What we'll need to do is, uh, that's enough for now, just with those few things with the expert advisor. Um, I'll do up another video and show you the commentary because that's really, really powerful and a very useful tool and I'll show you how to use that as well.